It's 10 trivia questions on the best bad movie of all time. Tommy Wiseau's The Room. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds, and today we have a whole episode for you on one of the worst movies ever, The Room with Tommy Wiseau. This is one of my favorite guilty pleasures, as I'm sure a lot of you uh, also like it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a great, crazy, crazy movie, uh, and I only saw it for the first time, let's see, probably four or five years ago. Um, so it's been out for a lot longer than that, but I only saw it... Uh, a friend of mine bar- let me borrow it and said, you've never seen this. And I said, no, I've seen like clips and stuff. They're like, you got to watch it beginning to end. So I popped in the DVD and had so many questions like 10 minutes into the movie. And uh, of course I saw how uh, in- enveloped you can get into this movie. <laughs> so engrossed is is probably the better word, but uh, there's so many things to love and hate about this movie. Um, it's, it's just one of the best. If you have not seen the room, this episode will make zero sense to you. Uh, if you have seen the room, it might make slightly more sense, but, uh, do yourself a favor and go watch this movie. Shout outs, uh, to my friends, Kurt and Dana, who now live, I believe in Wisconsin, who, uh, love bad Tommy Wiseau movies. We've watched, uh, several of his together and, uh, miss you guys in California. And I hope you're doing well if you are still listening to the podcast. All right. We're going to jump into 10 questions. These were written by my friend Jay Reyes from Arizona, and they're all about the room. Here we go. All right. The room, 10 trivia questions. Let's see what you know about this bad, bad movie. Number one, in what city does the room take place? What is the city setting for the room? Question number two, what is the pattern on the gift bag that Johnny hands Lisa at the start of the film? What is the pattern on the gift bag that Johnny hands Lisa at the start of the film? Number two. Question number three, where is Johnny's day job? Where does Johnny work in this movie? Number three. And question number four, what is Lisa's mom's name? What is the name of the character that plays Lisa's mom? Number four. Question number five. A character named Chris R. tries to kill which other character on the roof? Number five. A character named Chris R. tries to kill which other character on the roof? Number five. Question six, what do the male characters in the film toss back and forth in several scenes? Number six, what do the male characters in the film toss back and forth in several scenes? Question number seven, which character trips and falls and then is never seen again in the film? Number seven, which character trips and falls and is never seen again in the film? And number eight, Lisa throws Johnny a party towards the end of the movie. For what occasion? What is the party for? Number eight. Number nine is a 50-50 question. Is Lisa actually pregnant at the end of the movie? Number nine. And number 10, where is Johnny's suicide gun kept at the end of the film? Where is Johnny's suicide gun kept at the end of the film? Those are all your trivia questions for today's 10 question quiz on the room. We'll be right back in just a second to see if you got them all right. Oh, hi, Mark. We are back with the answers to the room trivia. Tommy Wasau, I actually got to meet him at LA Comic Con, I want to say three or four years ago. And uh, I think it was 15 bucks and I got a track jacket that said, Lisa, you're tearing me apart on the back of it. And it was black and it was zip up. It was awesome. And I got a uh, autographed something from him, um, maybe just a picture from the movie. And we got to take a picture with Tommy himself. So there's a great picture of me and my daughter, Annabelle, just crying her eyes out next to a strange man somewhere on Instagram or Facebook or something, if you want to go find it. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty good deal. 15 bucks for a track jacket, a signed picture, and a picture with the man. Uh, Pretty good deal. 
Uh, hopefully these answers were a good deal for you. We're going to jump into them right now. Number one, in what city does the room take place? That is good old San Francisco, California. San Francisco, although they don't really show much of the city at all. <laughs> It's really kind of vague. Number two, what is the pattern on the gift bag? Johnny hands Lisa at the start of the film. That is leopard print, a leopard print bag. Number three, where is Johnny's day job? He works at a bank. Again, that is not super clear. None of these answers or these tidbits are that clear at all. Uh, He works at a bank. Number four, what is Lisa's mom's name? Claudette. Claudette, she drops some very uh, strange news about having cancer in the movie. Just very nonchalantly goes, oh, and I have cancer. <laughs> like, has nothing to do with anything. It's very bizarre. Number five, a character named Chris R. tries to kill which other character on the roof? That is Denny. Denny has gotten himself in some sort of drug deal, gone wrong, or some kind of money scheme, and is about to be killed, but uh, does not get killed. That is Denny and Chris R. on the roof. Number six, what do the male characters in the film toss back and forth in several scenes? If you've been to a live screening of The Room, much like Rocky Horror Picture, show people dress up as characters and they throw around footballs that's right they have a lot of toss in the old pigskin in this movie number six number seven which character trips and falls and then is never seen again in the film that is peter peter he's in the wedding he falls playing football i think and then bye bye peter number eight lisa throws johnny a party towards the end of the movie for what occasion it's his birthday number eight his birthday number nine is lisa actually pregnant at the end of the movie no She's making it up. She's not pregnant. And number 10, where is Johnny's suicide gun kept at the end of the film? It's under a dresser. Under a dresser. That's where you keep it. That's where he keeps it. Uh, And those are all of your questions on The Room. If you are baffled and you listen to this and you've never seen the movie, thanks for making it all the way through. You owe it to yourself to now go watch it maybe twice. Go do it. Have some uh, fun substances with you when you watch it. That'll make it better. And uh, thanks for listening. We have a fact of the day for you that is about another fun couple of substances. It says there are seven, 70, not seven, 70 ingredients in a standard McRib sandwich. Ooh, McDonald's McRib, 70 different ingredients. That can't be right. Shouldn't it just be pork and shape of pork? <laughs> nope, they've got a lot of weird stuff in there. So 70 ingredients in your McRib. Next time you get one, just think about that just do it. All right. That is today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to the show. Thanks for telling a friend about the show and we'll see you next time for more trivia with buds. Bye-bye. 